this video is all about using Python language to write a program that will that to write a program that would ask the user how many Fibonacci numbers to print and the the program will print that many so now let me let's just now describe what Fibonacci number is so now let's look at what now Fibonacci numbers are the sequence below where the first two numbers are one and each number thereafter is the sum of the two preceding numbers. So now we should now write the program that asks the users how many Fibonacci numbers to print and then print them, print that many. So now, what we're going to do in this exercise is that I will explain how these numbers come about. Then now, from that um, angle you can now be able to understand what when I'm start, when I start programming you'll be able to understand what I'm doing now let's begin so Fibonacci numbers the way Fibonacci numbers are being generated now the first number is one now you now have zero up here that, that these are the numbers that we will be using to generate them now this one that is here we can we now bring it here we now if you add both of them you now have what one the second number then this other number here you also bring it here you see this one i bring it here we add it to zero you have one this one now if you add this one plus one what will you get you get two if you now bring these two here, you add one plus uh, one plus two, you have what three. Then now you bring three here. If you add three, uh, two plus three, you have what five. So that is the the pattern in which the Fibonacci numbers is being created. So now if you bring these five here, if you add them together, you get what eight. The next number. Now if you bring this eight here, if you add them together, you you now get the next number, which is thirteen. If you bring the thirteen here, if you add eight and thirteen, you you have the next number, which is twenty one. If you bring this twenty one here, if you add them together, you get the next number, which is what thirty four. Now, if you bring the thirty four here, if you add them together, you get the next number, which is what fifty five. So that is how the Fibonacci numbers is being formed. When you check the way it is being formed, if you look at the pattern, you notice that now here you have the first one number. Now here now let's assume here is F0. This particular number is F0. This one is F1. Now if you add F0 plus F1, it becomes this number. Now here now for us to also do this same thing and also get now let's now think the way that when you the way that we're going to be using this same variable to create this whole thing now and you know in programming if you assign value to a, a, a to a variable you can reassign value to that variable and the, the current value will override the old value so that that is that is on that premise on that understanding that is where we will not say we will not give f1 we will not say the variable f0 will not be equal to f1 then the variable f1 will not be equal to this one the first value form let's say the first value form is f then now that means f1 here now f1 will be equal to f the first value form so that means, so on this understanding, this is the generic uh, formula that we're going to use. So F0 is equal to F1, while F1 is equal to F. So this is the generic uh, formula that we're going to use to generate this, this, this whole thing. Ah, but if you generate with this thing, it will start from here, up here. So but we will now look at a way that we can also put, bring in this one into the picture so that is what we're going to do so now let's go into um the python environment 
So, but the Python, the one I'm using, the the IDE, that is integrated uh, developer environment I'm using is um, is Spider. So now let's go into the Spider. So this is Spider. Now, but I, I can see the I can see the, the 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 font is very small for you to see. So what I'm going to do is to increase the font. Let's go to to preference. So here, let's increase the font. Let me just increase it to fourteen. This also fourteen. The console should be okay. The console should be higher. Let's say the console is sixteen. Now let's apply. Click OK. So we, the way it is now is visible. So now we're going to use the only thing we're going to use here. We're not going to use list to generate this program. We're going to use only print and for loop command. That is only one we're going to use to, to be able to generate this. So now what we're going to do now is no sense. Though. We are going to now say start with F0. Okay, no, no. This is the console environment. So I'll start here. I'll say F0 is equal to 0. No, no, no. It's equal to 0. And then F1 is equal to, it's equal to 1. Then the next thing I will do is uh, let me print. I will just I will now print. I'll print F one. I'll say comma. I will now need to use the end command. Then the command. So I will add comma. Now that is what we're going to do now. Next, having given values for F0 and F1, the next thing I'm going to do is I will now use for in range. In range, let's say the number of Fibonacci. Let me call it NM. So is not defined. Let me not define it up there. So the norm will be equal to. I will just call it. It. I will use an input here. I will use an input. So I will just say enter the number. Fibonacci and the number of Fibonacci sequence. Let me call it like that sequence. Now, well, this is supposed to be a string, so I will just make it a string the way what it is. So, it's supposed to be a string. So, let's Now for range, now for range for I, I need to put I for I for I in range number this okay so that is it so. I haven't done this. What we're going to now do next is now we are not going to use that formula we created. Now when I say the f will not be equal to will not be equal to f zero plus f one plus f one. Now let's see. 
y is this undefined number okay this is not you're supposed to say equal to so i to go out now we have created this so now what we're going to do next is we say print we print the f comma end equal to quotation mark i'm sorry the quotation mark so well, before we haven't created this we can now say we have print, printed what we call spring this then now the next thing Mm, no, no. Let's start here. I can now say F zero is equal to F one, and uh, F one is equal to F is equal to F. So now I will now say print F. Then the next one will follow. So now there should be a comma here. Now let's try the program. What else? We'll print 10 of them. 10. Now let me say 10. Now let me type in 10. So we have 1, 1, 2, 5, 2, okay. So that is it. So this is this is it. This is the end of it. So now, but at the end, I need we needed to now print when when it is over. We needed to also print let me just add this. We need to print. Dash, 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 dash. Let me see what happens. So let's say it says to say 10. So that is it. So that is it. So that is the way it is. So now we are through with it. So now look at it now. If you look at the problem, so you just come out the way we wanted it to come. Out. So now that is it. So now you we can also you can give different values now let's say i want it to be like 20 fibonacci so now if i just click i just type in 20 see it gives me all the fibonacci up to 20. so that is it so now let's look at it so one So, but if the numbers are small, let's say we have 11, it will all be in one line, but because it's too much, so it, all of them goes like this. So, now look at it, now it's okay. So, so that is it. So, now thank you for watching. Please, if you like um, the video, please click the like buttons. Now, also subscribe. And hit the notification bell so that when the time I generate new videos like this, you can be the first to see it. And again, I would also like you to also make your comments in the comment section and also share the videos. Thank you for watching.